Hello survivors welcome back to the 5th episode of our life after F2P series. So guys, in the previous episode, I showed you how to obtain mechanical materials, but I think I was a little quick with that part, and many of you might not have understood it well, so I thought I'd show it in detail. Currently we are in the Black Pearl area map, and I have completed the photo clock and quests here. Now, I have to go to the Twin Ways city map, but the helicopter entry is locked for me because I'm low level. But no problem guys, we can manually unlock all the maps by driving our motorcycle from one map to another. In this case we have to pass a big river to get to the map, so we're gonna swim across. And here we are at Twinway City. So guys now let's open the map and locate the landmarks. And now let's go there and take a selfie with the landmark. That's all we have to do to get one mechanical material and five formula shards. The rewards will vary across different maps. I hope you guys understand this well. So guys I have explored and unlocked all the maps in the game just in a day, and we got 184 mechanical materials. Not gonna lie guys this was the most boring thing I have done in this game, and we also got over 2000 formula shards, so yeah, it's worth the hard work. Now let's take a look at the tactical belt. By default we will get 4 attack chips and 4 defense chips. For now I'm choosing concentrated strike for attack and defense master for defense. Also we have 3 tactical belt loadouts so that we can use different belts for different purposes. Now let's join a camp. Anyway I'm looking for small camps for now where we can do our things peacefully. I think this camp would be fine. So guys we just moved into the camp, and the main issue we face in the game now is the lack of new dollars. We need to upgrade many of these skills, and we don't have enough new dollars. So if you're wondering how we can make new dollars, we can exchange fed credits or gold bars, but since we can't do that we'll get them through another method. First let's go home and make some food. And once we have them we'll go to Blade Hunter base map. Just run down the path and you'll find these two NPCs. These are gathering teams, and you can exchange resources from these NPCs using gathering vouchers. Now let's talk to the first NPC here, and you can exchange your food items for gathering vouchers. The food with more taste will give us more vouchers. So in order to make more tasty food, you have to upgrade the specific skill and the craft abilities. And now exchange them and let's buy some honey from Edwin. Now let's get back to camp and go to the weapon shop. Here you can sell the honey and get new dollars. So if we take a look at the price, you'll get 167 new dollars for each honey, and totally we got 3000 new dollars from 19 honey. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to Sky Wheat Field and gather a lot of berries and make jam with them. Then we will convert it into gathering vouchers and make a lot of new dollars. So after that I did the weekend patrol with Buck Slayer and Chris. This one gives a good amount of mastery and gold, so make sure you do this every Sunday. And I have become level 30 also, so let's upgrade the manor. 
So guys we are finally level 30 and a lot of stuff has been unlocked. First things first, we have the level 1 shield which will act as an extra protection. And we get a free blade which we can now use as an auxiliary weapon. We'll talk about that later. And we have unlocked heavy weapon attachments also. So let's equip them. And we unlocked one more chip slot in the tactical belt, so I will put crippling shooter chip there. Then we have unlocked Dark City story quest which we will go through in the upcoming episodes. And yeah, that's almost everything about being level 30. Now it's time for formula fusion. This is why I told you to save formula shards until level 30. So we'll try to get the AK-47 formula for now. And just like that we have the formula. Now let's go to special research and upgrade the formula. So guys upgrading formula is very important. The higher the level the better the gun will perform so upgrade it. Here we have upgraded it to level 7 and now I need to collect more basic materials for upgrading further and we'll leave that for the next episode. So that's it for today's video guys. In the next episode, we'll get a level 30 armor and helmet and we'll do area operations for the first time. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind.